All right, just doing this to document what we did last night. We did not think to bring a camera, but this is a pickup truck that I'm going to be hauling off for scrap. And I brought out a nine millimeter um, Springfield pistol. My dad brought out a nine millimeter Sky, and we used 10 shots of 7.62 by 39 from an SKS. And we just want to do this just to see how well the bullets will penetrate. I used them um, in the nine millimeter. We used a few spear gold dots. We used some Hornaday. Um, critical defense rounds and we also for the most part use 115 grain um, FMJ Winchesters and Federals most of the shots we put in the windshield here you can see this windshield has been pretty thoroughly destroyed and then here's the back window um, now we didn't actually shoot the back window out but we had a lot of holes in it it was crackling and sounded like you were ruffling paper up all the time even minutes after you shot it so we took a pipe and we knocked it out after it had about 30 holes in it or so um, also maybe hard to see in the video here but there are bullet holes in the seat for instance like right there um, the cloth kind of fills in around it what I did was I stood back about right here shooting into that seat into the bed of the truck now here's what happened. Um, let me see if I can get this up while holding the camera. Hold on. There you go. I had to move the camera to get the seat up. Right here you can see bullet holes with the metal pierced back in that direction. Um, these bullets went through the seat, through the back panel, and if you look closely, I don't know if you can see through that hole, in many instances it actually went completely through the back bed of the truck like over in that area you can really see that um, let me stand up here and look on the bed of the truck and here you can see um, some bullets went through some didn't you can see four or five holes though where bullets would actually tear completely through the pickup truck um, on that side this was shot from the opposite direction I'll swing around there I shot from this direction about 10 to 15 feet back at the truck and if you look on the other side those are the exit wounds where bullets would come through these holes the top ones and would come out the other side of the bed of the truck again those were nine millimeter full metal jacketed rounds there's more holes across the bottom um, the issue with that is if you look in here you can see that there is steel in the bed this piece right here this red piece is a piece out of a shipping container it's a uh, core 10 steel and they're designed where they can stack like uh, 10 of those things on top of each other on ships you can look up pictures of them uh, you can see here where the bullets just um, get it. you can see here where the bullets just kind of scratched that it didn't really penetrate this type of metal um, that's pretty heavy pretty reinforced steel here is another shot of the back of the seat um, where the bullets came through it you'll see sometimes in movies where somebody flips over a couch something like that trying to um, make it and then it suddenly it's bulletproof well we know that will not be the case you can also see here several more nine millimeter bullet holes in the back of this several of them of course corresponding with where the seat was now there was also we did fire a few 7.62 by 39s for example, three of them are right here. We fired into here. Now I'm gonna go back around into the truck. That's around the center of the cab. If you look right there, that's where the 7.6239s came out of the other side of the dash. I was aiming up the way. Um, so they went through the seat here and they actually knocked out a section of the glass that we didn't get a picture of. Also towards the end, you can see we had a few shots go into top here. Um, the one on the right is what I'm interested in. You can see a hole in the bottom and then a hole coming out of the top. That was a 9mm towards the end. There's a piece of metal on the inside here and you can see just over that sun visor. I'm trying to get it in the camera. There you go. You can see a ripple. That's It's like a dent. Um, the bullet came through, ricocheted off that piece of metal and went out the roof. Again, 9mm round. So, and here's another shot from the other side. Um, as far as I can remember, all of those shots that came through here and the bed of this truck were 9mm. I don't think there were any 762 by 39s that went this way. Um, although a couple of them may be, but for the most part they are 9mm. Came out the back of the cab. 
And these nine millimeters, I mean, you read about, well, police switched to 40 or 357 SIG because windshields were deflecting them. Well, yeah, that's a flatter windshield than most modern cars, but we were also shooting it while it was on a trailer, so we were having to shoot up. And for the most part, those bullets, you have to take my word for it at this point, but for the most part, them bullets were going straight out the back window. And this is just a little video putting together to show you what happened when we shot up this truck with a nine millimeter. Bullet holes in the roof or where they went through the pole strip there. Um, there's a bullet hole. I think that was a nine millimeter there that came through that steering column also one time right here I shot this with my dad Sky uh, I was shooting in this area one bullet hole underneath the wiring harness there and when you come around to the other side there you go went straight through the firewall of this truck and then you can see a few holes in the seat here I'm thinking that one probably came from the front, went through the seat, might be in that seat somewhere, might have gone out the back, I'm not really sure. But either way, uh, you are not safe inside a vehicle from a 9mm, it will go through.